Good evening. I'm Adam Pliska. On behalf of the hundreds of World Poker Tour employees over the last two decades, I'm honored to be joining you here tonight to celebrate the extraordinary life of Mike Sexton. I'm here in Las Vegas at the home of the WPT final table, and behind me are photos of life on the road with Mike. For many, Mike Sexton will always be the most iconic poker commentator the world has ever known. But for the WPT family, he was more. He was friend, father, mentor, innovator, and moral compass. He's also the reason that many of us will look back at our time on the World Poker Tour as some of the fondest memories of our lives. Now, Mike had no shortage of accomplishments, but tonight I'd like to focus on just three life lessons of the many that Mike taught us. I'm sure they'll resonate with you, and they'll run through a number of the stories that you're going to hear tonight. The first is Mike believed in enjoying the journey. Whether he was playing for a million dollars, participating in an impromptu golf game in China, taking his son Ty out to a scouting outing, or as I witnessed, Mike and Vince flying 3,000 miles in a plane, getting off the plane and immediately starting a prop bet of whose luggage was going to come out of the carousel first, Mike Sexton always looked for the fun and the good in life, and that spirit was infectious. Those of us who had the privilege of traveling the world with this splendid man followed his lead, and our lives have been forever enhanced because of it. Next, Mike showed us the virtue of making other people feel special. It didn't matter if this was the first time you'd been at a poker game, or you were a WPT champion, or a waiter in a restaurant. When you were in the presence of Mike Sexton, you felt like you were the most important person in the world. When he talked to you, you were the only person in the room. And when he listened, you felt like your opinion mattered. This is because Mike Sexton instinctively understood what it takes many of us years to realize, that life is precious, that each conversation, smile, or exchange is a chance to engage in a simple communion of kindness. We all felt a little bit more valued and a little bit more special because of Mike. And finally, Mike showed us, whatever you do, do it with laughter. Laugh long and deep so that tears emerge from your eyes and your stomach shakes when you do, and laugh at that too. Tell some good jokes. Tell some bad ones while you're at it as well. But whatever you do, laugh at yourself, not just in your tales of achievement, but also in your misfortunes, which often can be the source of some of the greatest stories that you'll tell for the rest of your life. And those of you who've witnessed the infamous WPT roast, you can attest Mike had no equal, whether roastor or roastee. There he taught us to humorously talk trash like only a great competitor can do, but in a manner that implicitly conveyed the gentle sentiment that he loved you. Because to Mike Sexton, every moment was worthy of a celebration and every laugh a testament to the joy of life. And so let's follow Mike's directives to enjoy this journey that we've been given, to take the time that we've been afforded to elevate others, and to laugh from the depths of our heart. Accordingly, I'd like to offer you this passage from The Little Prince by de saint de Soubery, whose words seem most fitting, and in my mind, seem as if they could have been uttered from Mike himself. You alone will have the stars as no one else has them. In one of them, I will be living. In one of them, I will be laughing. And so it will be as if all the stars are laughing. When you look at the sky at night, you, you alone, will have the stars that can laugh. Please join me now in a moment of silence for Poker's North Star. <laughs> 